La Familia, welcome back. Silent Mike with another video. Before we dive into the topic of what is masculinity in 2019, be sure to give this thing a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below what topics, fitness, nutrition, life, health, what you want me to cover in the next one. Be sure to stay connected. I got a new podcast dropping every Wednesday, 50% facts, and I'm streaming live on Twitch every single day. Link in the bio of Silent Mike on Twitch. Let's dig into it. So recently, it seems like Procter & Gamble, who owns Gillette, decided to make another statement, a political statement, some would say, and dropping the commercial for Gillette uh, and talking about masculinity, kind of digging into the Me Too movement and what it is to be a man, what it is to be a leader, what it is to be masculine in today's society. And they tie it all in with a bunch of different things, bullying, um, sexual harassment, kind of, again, the Me Too movement and leading a good example for kids. In the past, PG&E, who owns Gillette and multiple other companies, they're an absolute monster. Um, they've done a lot of uh, political type statements, um, doing like a girl campaign for Pantene, uh, strong is beautiful, and things of that nature, making more undertoned or actually in your face statements, even though their product is pretty surface level if you're looking at Gillette razors. <laughs> This uh, went wild on the internet. Uh, many people were for it, thinking that um, you know we need to teach lessons to our generation of men, whether uh, older or younger, on how to act in today's society. And then the opposite argument, like, hey, bro, you sell razors. Sell me a really good razor and shut the F up. Um, me personally, I'm very torn on the topic. You know, what is masculinity in 2019 compared to 1400? Um, you know, I've been watching a lot of Game of Thrones lately and I do believe that it's not about what is masculine, what is chivalry, it's about what is being a good human. And I do think maybe because of how I was raised with my dad, um, being maybe a little bit more old school or whatever it is that being a gentleman, being chivalrous, being honorable, my lord, um, is something that maybe we should all do, but it feels good to me to do it. And I only know how to be me and a boy, that's all I was born, so I don't know, I don't identify as other things, so I can't say what it is for them. But for me, it feels good to say thank you. It feels good for me to pick up the bill. It feels good for me, um, you know, if I see a fight in the streets, which this has only happened a handful of times, but telling people to knock it off. Um, opening the door. I open the door for guys and girls. I think it's nice um, to take care of people around me and be in a way chivalrous or a gentleman. Um, is that masculine to me? I don't know, you know, people are always ranting about alpha male, beta male, this and that. All that I don't really have an opinion on because I think it's just a, 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 a way to, to identify these buzzwords and, and, and label people that I just don't care about. Um, I just don't care if people think I'm a beta or an alpha male. What I care about is people thinking I'm fun to be around, I'm a good guy, I'm a nice guy, and I try to do my best, put my best foot forward every single day, and I think we all should do that. Now obviously there's layers to this thing. Uh, in the commercial they have representations of two kids, maybe around the age seven, kind of fighting each other and the dad's breaking it up like it's a big deal. And then they kind of show that next to perhaps sexual assault on a TV set or humor on TV or even in real life. Now to me, that's so drastically different. Um, obviously, you know, a guy on TV or, or even in the office or, or in public, whatever, grabbing a girl's bum uh, without permission is absolutely wrong. Where in my opinion, seven-year-olds kind of wrestling in the grass, that's just part of life. And I don't think that's when it's time to be masculine and tell little Timmy, hey, dude, don't hit on little Johnny, you know? Like, it's not that big of a deal to me. And so, them just throwing out all these random images, and then and then they bounce to Terry Crews, who I believe was sexually assaulted by an older gentleman when he was younger. Like, that's a whole different topic. Um, and the spectrum is so big, I think that they just, you know, broad swipe this whole thing, and that's kind of what I disagree about. There are things that need to be brought to attention in our society, and the more the conversation going, perhaps the more better, and we can get to something. Which leads me to my next point, and this is a conversation that I have within my own head and a lot of my peers, and today, once you build an audience, whether you're Procter & Gamble or little Mikey down here with a little Instagram and YouTube following, what is your responsibility as a content creator, influencer, and where do you draw the lines? Now, you know, to be honest, I don't have an answer. For me, I think in my everyday life, I draw the lines on how I need to act and behave based on my morals. Now, for Silent Mike, who's, and this is as raw as it gets, guys. I mean, it, it, Silent Mike is, it, that's me. There's no difference on how I act here and how I act in real life. But what I portray on the internet is different topics than I portray in real life or how I may go about things. 
I built this audience to help entertain, make you guys smile, and hopefully inform you and make you think about different things in life and fitness with my podcast, YouTube, and Twitch. That doesn't, to me, mean that now I can switch around and, and run for political campaign and, and tell you guys about these rights and those rights. Now everyone has the right to do whatever they want to do with their audience, their following on the internet, or again, as a Procter & Gamble or a bigger company, they can do whatever they want. But to me, the responsibility lies to stick to my guns and act that way in real life and not necessarily turn into a preacher online. You guys all click that little red button here on Twitch or podcast because you want to hear my opinions on these certain topics, not because you guys want me to run for governor of California and give you all my political views, whether it be left or right. So again, you know, you're talking 2019. What is masculinity compared to whatever, 1200 um, AD when, when guys are knights and riding horses and chopping each other heads off? You know, I, again, I'm not one for labels. I'm not one for throwing someone in a box and I just don't care about the buzzword, what is alpha, what is masculine. But what I do know is that you deadlifting 600, 700, 800 pounds does not make you a man. Uh, it doesn't make you masculine. It doesn't make you tough and it doesn't make you an alpha male. Um, lifting weights is awesome. It's a great way to strengthen your body and your mind. It's a great way to be healthy. Um, but you know, you can't, you can't go too deep, but having good morals, treating people correctly, doing your best every single day in multiple things, uh, working on not only your physical, but your mental, and also um, having some kind of morals, uh, doing the right thing when the situations arise or when the situations don't arise. I think kind of being a gentleman or a gentle lady, I think it's okay for a lady to open a door for a guy or pick up a bill. I'm not against that. Um, it's just about coming from the right area and that's what it is for me to be a good human, not to be masculine or a good man. I think, um, you know, and I'm not one of those guys that say like, oh, we're all the same. You know, there's obviously some differences from human to human and gender to gender and whatever it might be. But I think if everyone just starts focusing on inward, start focusing on bettering themselves, puts that energy and attention on becoming a better human um, through lifting, through fitness, through health, through uh, community, uh, through spirituality or whatever it is to you, we'll be better off than everyone always putting this energy. The energy you're taking to focus on other people, the energy you're taking to label other people, the energy you're taking on uh, focusing on what is being a tough guy or an alpha male, I think goes to an absolute waste uh, if you're not continuing to spend some time working on yourself. Uh, and I'm not even close to perfect and I'm not even close to done and I'm not saying that. I'm still constantly working on how I can handle situations, uh, being a leader, uh, hopefully, here on the internet, in my companies, in my communities, doing better things that I can every day, whether they are seen and unseen. And to me, that is what matters most. Uh, not the label of being masculine, not de deadlifting 700 pounds with a hairy chest and screaming to the, 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 the skies like a barbarian to feel like I'm a tough guy, not getting in fist fights to feel like I'm a tough guy, and not the opposite, not running around doing absolutely nothing uh, and considering being a tough guy. I don't care if you think I'm a tough guy or I'm alpha male. I'm just going to continue to, uh, you know, what we say here, me do me uh, and put my best foot forward trying to do the best I can every single day. Uh, so get, don't, don't get it twisted. Don't, don't think that lifting weights makes you tough. Don't think um, that, that you, you have to be too tough to, to, to have some feelings, to have some emotions. Um, be you. Uh, find out what it means to be you. Continue to work on being self-aware uh, and let's leave some of these buzzwords, the masculinity and whatever it might be in the past. I just don't think it helps resolve any issue. So why are we spending um, energy on that? Now, again, to wrap it all up, Procter & Gamble, in my opinion, and Gillette, that, you know, they have all the right in the world to make whatever political statement they want or try to make a social statement uh, in their commercials. Do I think that's necessarily right? It's not the path I would take. I um, treat my businesses and their branding uh, specifically and treat me as a human specifically. So when you guys click on this video, you know you'll get a raw, uncut, unfiltered information, hopefully entertaining version of me on a topic. You're not gonna click on this video one day and all of a sudden I'm telling you about what I feel about the economical crisis happening in, in the Middle East or whatever it might be. Um, you kind of stay in your lane when you're building a brand or company. That's my personal opinion. Now, other people that do YouTube and built it up on on video games or built it up on um, 
you know, perhaps uh, lifting weights and now they want to talk about political things, that is their right. It's just not the path I choose and it's not what I uh, find for me. Um, and the same conversation has been had a lot about uh, different musical artists, uh, athletes uh, making statements um, uh, about political situations or, or subtle statements. If I was to make a statement, it would be more subtle along the lines uh, of, of perhaps a LeBron James or something like that, wearing a t-shirt uh, or having a different colorway of his shoes, making a subtle statement without having to go on his Instagram and blind everybody that he's going against um, so we'll link the commercial below uh, CNN and everybody in the world has talked about this video but hopefully you guys see the commercial let me know what you think about the commercial below and leave a comment what you want me to cover next I appreciate you guys hopefully I'll see you on Twitch I'll see you on my podcast new videos every Monday and Thursday appreciate you sound the mic I'm out of here